Dremia Luck, greetings, and welcome to Gaming on SideQuest Publications, and the third of my unboxing videos. Here we have the, once I open the box, we have the Elder Scrolls Online Imperial Edition. However, in the interest of uh, getting the various bonuses, I'll most likely be getting the game through Steam to actually play it. I got this for the various physical goodies. If I can open the box. Uh, just a moment. Okay, I finally got the box open. Should really invest in the box cutter one of these days. And once again, far more packing material than I'll ever need in a lifetime. Uh, invoice, you don't need that. Uh, well, the collector's edition of Skyrim came in a pretty box, pretty, pretty big box, um, much larger than this one, although this does a good job of competing, and once again, hold off on the video while I use both hands. Okay, it's official. Not only do I need a box cutter for these types of videos, I also need three hands. Um, like I said, the Skyrim box was a lot bigger, and that's thanks to a certain dragon, but this does a pretty good job of competing. Oh gee, more tape. <laughs> scissors back. Ah, the thing, the money I could have saved if I'd been able to buy all this when it first came out. Although, in this case, unlike the Skyrim box, which got disposed of very early on this, I might keep just for the box, <laughs> which is very unusual for me. Well, you've seen the official unboxing video if you follow uh, Xenomax and that, but so you know what some of this is going to be. We have the actual game which, aside from having a distinct preference for the Steam version for the various digital goodies, uh, makes me wonder if I could have uh, gotten by with just the Explorer's Pack. Uh, another nice map, which, again, need to see if I could... Really? <laughs> So you're telling me that I didn't need to buy the Explorer's Pack? <laughs> well, came with a nice cloth map anyway. Well, if nothing else, I haven't. Maybe that means I have an extra code that I can always offer someone else if it turns out that both of them are, you know, for the same thing. And we have Molag Ball, the other. physical goodie, and one last physical goodie from this game. See, I didn't know that the Imperial Edition, the physical Imperial Edition came with that stuff. I assumed that I had to buy that separately. You know, since I ended up waiting. But like I said, Explorer's Pack came with the map, and if nothing else, I have an extra code if someone else wants the scuttler and everything else. Well, after I install the game and make sure the code, the one code works. We have the, uh, oh, there was a title here somewhere. Well, I thought there was. Anyway, this should be, aside from looking 
online to verify the, uh, or looking at the thing here. Yes, the Emperor's Guide to Tamriel, which means I can take that off my Amazon wish list since people like to sell these things separately. Um, then, like I said, the Statue of Molag Ball, which... I'm not going to try to make the jokes about him being, you know, him being bound in here and so on and so forth. The professionals already did that. So, back to needing a third hand or setting the camera aside while I get this extremely ruthless Daedric Prince out of the container. I finally got everything out of the box. Um, like with the other unboxing things, or like with the uh, the hero's guide, this will be set aside with the possibility of being a Christmas present if I don't come up with anything else that my that I want to put on my wish list. This guy, however, and possibly the code if I can use it on Steam. And I'm going to be very ticked off if I can't, because that's the whole reason that I got all this stuff. Is getting set up now. So let's see if I can get him set up here. I really need to stand for this camera. Ow, sharp. <laughs> and I thought Alduin was uh, painful to touch. Let's see, we have... Molag Ball, of course, and like I said, all these various sharp protrusions that I'm doing a good job scratching myself with. This nice long scorpion, well, scorpion-like tail that looks more like a weapon, like a blade than a scorpion, but who cares. And, you know, to use the joke from the official video, the mace of Molag Ball and the base of Molag Ball. I should point out that I'm not very good at making jokes. Ex at least not on purpose. Okay, let's see if I can get all this stuff set up, like I said, and ow. <laughs> well, you know, he is a uh, evil Daedric Prince. Maybe there's a reason that he's uh, doing a good job of scratching me. Maybe it's because he likes to cause torment. Well, let's see if I can... Ow. That mace is extremely painful. Everything on him is painful. <laughs> okay, where does this little thing go, and how does it go in? Um, let's see. Judging from the judging from the shape of that thing and the shape of that hole on his butt, I would say it goes in like I would say that it is going to be extremely stubborn about going in uh, but such is my luck Ugh. Am I doing it wrong, or does it just not go in all the way? Ugh. There we go. I think I finally got the tail in. And let's get him set up. Hopefully I have a better lighting where I plan on setting him than the last time. Oh, good. Amazing what it does when I open curtains. Uh, get my work stuff moved out of the way. It is a battle of titanic proportions with my poor little ordinator uh, stuck there in the middle. Huh. Help. 
He's trying to decide who he needs to fight first. Alduin? Or Molag Ball? And there you have it. Elder Scrolls Online, Imperial Edition, and the various physical goodies. And soon, I hope, very soon, I will be able to actually get the game itself set up so that you can see the digital goodies. See you next time. Bye.